Hi guys, it's Elena and I'm here to introduce you to the second edition of my Gold Rush for Procreate brush set. Um, this is basically a whole new brush set and method which I will be showing you um, in this little tour. And before you get any further with the video, I just want to make sure that you have updated your iPad to iOS 13 or higher, which you can do in your settings app. And also make sure that you have updated your Procreate app to Procreate 5 or higher. The brushes will not work properly um, unless you have done these two updates, which are free, of course. When you first download the files from Creative Market or Etsy or Gumroad my web, on, on my website, when you go to your files app after this download has taken place, you should be able to find the files in iCloud Drive and Downloads. And um, there it is right there, Gold Rush Second Edition .zip. And I've named it Gold Rush Second Edition or Gold Rush 2. Um, some of the files are named within just so that you don't have any confusion if you've previously downloaded the old version you'll know this is the new one. So all you have to do once you're in the files app is tap on that zip file and it will unzip and make a new folder. And make sure that you're in the files app and not some kind of unzipping app because you don't actually need that anymore in iOS 13. Okay, so once that has unzipped, you can tap on the folder and you should see three, uh, two different files and a folder. This folder called metallic overlays is actually just kind of a bonus, um, kind of an extra thing that is not required. It's mostly for advanced users who want to have all of the source files in case they want to continue using a clipping mask, which is kind of the older way. Um, but you do not have to use this at all, and if you want, you can just delete this folder. But the main two uh, files are the Gold Rush swatches and Gold Rush 2.brush set, where all the brushes are. So in order to load these two in Procreate, um, you just tap them and they should open up right away in Procreate. So I just did the swatches file. And when you go up here, tap your color, you should see that it has loaded into the swatches um, palette. And these are just solid colors that I have, I've sort of vetted with the brushes and I know that they look good with the brushes. Um, but you are welcome to use any colors that you want. And just as a note, this gold right here, this third gold right here, is absolutely my favorite color gold to use. Um, and I use it on most of my previews and all of that. So going back to the Files app, we still have to load the brushes. So that's this Gold Rush 2 dot brush set. That's a Procreate uh, brush set file. So just tap that one. And if, if these files are not loading automatically, um, I'll, I'll post a link up above in this video that shows you another method uh, that you can do this with the share icon instead if for some reason it's not opening up automatically like that with the tap. Okay, so once you've loaded those the brushes, once you've tapped that file, um, you may have to scroll down um, on your brush library, but you should see it at the top and I've actually got two of them now because I've just loaded it again. Okay, so these are the brushes within the set. And I'm just gonna go ahead and explain a little bit about each type of brush in here. Um, but the main thing that you should remember for all of the brushes, you need to just make sure when you use them that they are on their own layer. So you can add a new layer in Procreate by hitting this plus button. And that's important with these brushes because they, all of them interact with what is already on the layer. Sometimes the brushes can come out looking really white if you're putting it right on top of something else. So if you have that problem, always make a new layer. That's always the solution for that. Okay, with that said, the first six brushes on here are for lettering. There's foil and glitter and a lot of fun looks that you can test out your lettering with. These are all optimized for lettering um, and there are some sketching and painting versions further below. After the lettering brushes, I've got a lot of uh, fun, different sort of sparkly brushes. We've got bokeh and sparkles, um, confetti, glitter dust, and stardust, and um, cracked foil, metallic watercolor. So all of these are very straightforward. All you have to do is pick a color and just use them on their own layer. That's really all that you need to know about these. Um, down further, we've got 
three foil fill brushes and five glitter fill brushes. These ones are a little bit special and I'll show you, um, I'll turn this stuff off so that I can show you how these work. So I'm already on a layer on my own and I've got my gold selected. So I'm gonna go to the foil fill. Um, this is basically just fills an area with foil and that's just like one brush stroke. You can go over an area more than once to make it shinier. Um, and if you go really hard, it will be almost white but you can sort of decide where your light source is coming from this way. Anyway, so the, the fill brushes, anything, the, the foil fill and the glitter fill um, are not meant to be used uh, only on their own, but they're meant to fill an area, as the title would suggest, with foil or with glitter. So using these brushes, you can, um, you can use any shape or any drawing or anything else, lettering that you've made or text, and you can fill the area with, with these brushes in order to make them look like they were made with foil of any color that you choose or glitter with any color that you choose. So down, I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute, but down, down below, below that we've got um, 24 brushes that I've called confetti base. And these brushes are different than the rest because they are not metallic when they come out. I'm just going to show you in uh, black Okay, so they just come out looking flat like this, and they're meant to be combined with the fill brushes. And that's because I couldn't get brushes that looked uh, really good and um, solid glitter coming out like in confetti. So that's why the rest of them come out without any need to combine with other brushes. But these confetti brushes, um, you need to combine them with the fill brushes. You don't have to use a clipping mask though, it's very simple. So I'm just going to show you, I've already made this this mark with the confetti brush in black. And I do suggest using black to start with because that will provide a really nice contrast um, once you add the fill. So the, that's the first step is just to make a, a mark with whatever confetti brush that you choose in black. And then, oops, and then you go to your layers right here and tap that layer and then hit alpha lock. And that means that you can only draw on this layer now where there is already something there. So then just go and choose your color. I'm gonna go ahead and go with that gold. And then choose your fill. And I will go with glitter fill number five. And I've got the brush turned all the way up and I'm just gonna swipe it across this area slowly without lifting the brush. And then anything that doesn't look quite light, I'll go back over it. Um, multiple times and you can keep doing that you know until you're happy with how the glitter looks and you can do this as well with the foil oops I'll just show you with a foil brush now as well I'm gonna put that just all the way up and then oops I undid the alpha lock so I'm gonna put the alpha lock back on and then I just fill that with foil instead, like that. So you can do this again with, not just with these, um, these confetti brushes, but with anything that you have drawn or lettered in Procreate. And I'm just gonna show you how to do this with text um, from, if you go up here and you add text, add text, uh, you can use a font and do that. That's what I've done with my cover images this here. So I'm going to show you how I made that. So this was what, um, this was the text layer that I had originally made and it's in black again. And you can see by this a, that it's still text. It's not like an image yet. It's still like recorded here as text. So there's one extra step with that. You just tap it and then hit, well, actually I'm just going to duplicate it first, turn the bottom layer off and then tap it and rasterize it. And what that means is that you can't edit that text anymore. But I still have this layer down below that I've turned off if I decide that I wanna go back and change that. Okay, so now that I've done that, it's exactly the same process. Tap the layer, alpha lock, select my gold, select my fill, and then fill the area. If you want to use a clipping mask with the textures that have been included with the bonus, I'll put a link up here um, with the uh, tutorial on how to do that. Um, 
and you absolutely do not have to do that at all with these new brushes but if you want to as some people do prefer to do still um, you have those available so please let me know if you have any questions about these brushes and I will hopefully be doing some more tutorials um, with specific ideas on how to use them um, but I hope this was an, a helpful overview and um, let me know if you have any questions thanks